What's going on everybody? Rob here, Trev 2323, that's T-R-E-V 2323. Subscribe, like, and share. Today I'm going over our kitchen, our kitchen costs. We had our kitchen totally renovated. If you can see, my wife has it all decorated for Christmas already. But we, I mean not everybody gets to their kitchen all the time. So we, uh, I wanted to go over some stuff with you that I found out as we were renovating the whole kitchen. Now we did from the hallway, you see the refrigerator comes out right here. The refrigerator was actually relocated. The refrigerator used to be over there and we relocated the refrigerator over here. So to put this in the housing right here, this used to be empty space. So what it is with this housing right here now, it made the hallway a lot more darker. So in doing all this, we actually had to put a LED light in the hallway to make the hallway. I know, I know, we still got the door to finish. Okay, so we added the light and the hallway. Now some of this is drywall and some of this is the original plaster. It was joined together. The plaster and the drywall were actually joined together all the way around. And whatever wood we could save, we saved the wood and just added the rest. Let me show you this while I'm here. That's the room that me and my wife painted. Okay, so there used to be the microwave cabinet right here and we located the microwave to over there. That's an all LED light right there. That light fixture was uh, $156. Totally worth it. It lights up the whole kitchen. Okay, uh, let me start with, we'll go this way and work our way that way. We did put new windows in. Uh, they're insulated with that gas and all that stuff. And then these blinds are the ones that you just lift them. There's nothing else other than to lift them up or pull them down okay if you can see we got we do got led lighting you can change it to any color you want and uh we got the remotes so they could be any color but that kind of light right there is actually pretty good with the gray but there's two remotes because it's two 16 foot strips and they're in separate pieces that you gotta separate them if you want them off or on Okay, uh, let me go with the cabinets. Okay, the cabinets right here, we bought from a store, Ikea, which sells them in pieces. So uh, I'm glad I had a really good friend with me to help me out with this because I would have so been overwhelmed. Now the cabinets, the cabinets alone, the cabinets alone without the countertops, without the sinks, just the cabinets themselves, were $7,500 just for the cabinets themselves. Now with the cabinet, uh, you can get different widths for the cabinet, how different depths. So we wanted the bigger depth, so we got bigger depth on the cabinet. Now, why I would never do it again, believe me, and actually when we were going back for some pieces here and there, we had to switch some pieces out, there was a guy taking his cabinets back because he couldn't do it. These cabinets came in 141 different boxes, different pieces, different boxes, 141. Okay, so when you buy the cabinets, the cabinets are the cheapest part and it doesn't come with, this is an end cap on the cabinet. This is an end cap. This is the bottom molding and on the top is a crown molding. So all you're technically getting is the cabinet. <laughs> I mean, literally the cabinet itself and then you choose what door you want. And the different patterns on the door is the different cost. So the, the these doors right here, what we got in there was separate. Now each one of the handles on the cabinet, each one of the handles on the cabinet was purchased separately. Well, I think they came in packs of six. But let me tell you this, this is what's crazy, is when we got everything separate, this was, this, inside cabinet piece was a separate piece than this right here this was not attached to this right here and none of the cabinets had holes in them none of them had holes in them all of them had to be drilled out perfectly in order to put the handles on them now also the closed locks these hinges cost you more money these are the self-closed hinges so they open and they self-close so the hinges even cost you more money. I mean, it like really, 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 really 
nickels and dimes you. Now these right here on the end, these are separate panels. These are called end caps right here. There's an end cap right here. There's an end cap right here. But then over here we had to buy bigger end caps to go from top to bottom. This is the centerpiece right here. And this is the extra cabinet on the top right here. So all this had to be fabricated. It didn't come as one unit. It came as all separate units and it had to be fabricated. Okay, the island was a whole separate entity in itself. And the island came just in flat boxes, literally flat boxes. And it had to be put together. But the, now none of the 7500 included the countertops or the backsplash. All right, it's just the cabinets itself. Now the cabinets just came, uh, this is pretty cool. There's a drawer in a drawer, a drawer in a drawer, but everything was dismantled. I mean, the drawer was separate. The doors were separate. The handle was separate. The inner drawer was separate. This was just bare bones, a square wood piece. And every single drawer had to be put together. The tracks had to be put together. The, the, uh, this, the surround on the outside of the island had to be put on and uh, I talked to another guy that just does cabinets to put these boxes together took almost four days to put the boxes together when I put them together and hang them up almost four days itself just to put the boxes for the cabinets together and I know a guy that just does cabinets he says he would never do that and I personally would never do it again I would already buy square box cabinets so these right here, there's a bracket along the top that they all hook on that you got to make sure they're level. Also, with your cabinets, this is considered an end piece right here that you put on to fit in there to space it. Uh, these are two end, there's an end piece right in here. These two end piece side by side right in here. So if you're not really good with straight cuts, hire somebody to do it because those all had to be cut out of a panel like this. There's an extra panel like this right here, and all those little and all those little pieces had to be cut out of the panel and to put in like that. Okay, and all the all the miters had to be done. These are just these are just straight pieces that they send you right here, straight pieces. And then all those miters on the angles on the top and the bottom had to be put in, and would cost you extra. Also, was the baseboard all the way around to close the cabinets? See that baseboard? that cost extra also so it was pretty it, it it just added up really quick now this cabinet right here cost extra this is pretty cool right here but your pots actually come out and you could reap your whatever you want in there there's a top and bottom and we got this because this door just opens and closes like this and with the ones with the double doors that you were pulling out and all the samples of the double doors that made the angle right here if you see where the door closed right here there was a chip on the cabinet because the door kept hitting there. All right, let's see what else I can talk about. Okay, the backsplash. Backsplash was separate. We paid about $480 for this backsplash, and that was not installed and not with the grout at all. It was about $480. We bought it in separate cases. I think it was three and a half cases. And then you have to buy the grout for it also. And also, let's see what extra, the end caps right here. See, there's an end cap right here, just a little end cap right here. And there's an end cap all the way over here, I believe. This is a little white end cap. Actually, it was a gray, silver and it's painted white end cap right there on the end just to finish it off. So that actually was extra to buy right there. The radiator we took out, it was a nightmare. This radiator is about 600 pounds. I tried sandblasting it with a little sandblaster. I called the company $200 for them to sandblast the paint and not bad. $200 for them to pick it up, $200 for them to drop it off. I sandblasted it the best I can and sanded it and everything and I painted it myself. I didn't do the end pieces, I have to finish those. All right, let me get back to the floor. The floor, all the way throughout, I think the floor was 780. I think the floor was 780. And this is, it looks wood, it looks like gray wood, but this is actually a PVC floor. We wanted a complete waterproof floor. So this is a click lock, complete floating waterproof floor that looks like wood and it got a lifetime warranty on the floor. 
and the floor actually floats on top of the hardwood floor. There's no wood, there's no glue, there's no underlayment, there's no nothing. It clicks into place and it's all on it. And I think the floor itself was 780 that's not installed. And then uh, the countertops, these right here, this is an OG edge. The countertop, the special size you want in the countertop, they could have done with granite. These ain't granite countertops. These are uh, ah, laminate, MDF laminate countertops. Uh, I decided not to go with granite. Well, my wife kind of agreed with me because believe it or not, we were by a friend's house and I was doing dishes and they had the under the counter sink. See, I got the over the counter sink. They had the under the counter sink. And when I went to go put the dish in, I hit the dish on the dang thing and I almost cracked the dish. So I said, no, I don't want no under the counter countertops because I almost cracked the dish. So, oh, this is separate also. This don't come in the countertops. When you get your sink itself, you get your sink separately. You get your little basket separately. You get this separately. This is what we wanted because this is the dishwasher soap right here. All the plumbing pieces underneath are separate. That is all separate in itself. I think we paid $159 for the stainless steel sink. And I think we paid $159 for the faucet set and everything right there. Uh, the microwave. This was a, a trouble when I put it in because there was 141 boxes and pieces and everything. And I put the microwave in wrong where when you opened it up, it actually wouldn't open all the way up like that. It, it would hit over here it would hit right here and I didn't realize that that one of the wood pieces that came with the microwave actually hangs on the back and it gives you a spacer to bump your microwave out depending upon the width of the cabinet and since we went with a fatter cabinet I was supposed to put that spacer to bump the microwave out found that piece after three quarters of the way through the projects now this right here is actually vented out the side wall. You could have them where you could recirculate them, like with the, cause they do have a filter right here. You could recirculate it or you could vent it out. So this one gets vented out. This got a fan and a light. Another light if we want to. Two different things on the light and for the fan. One thing that I don't like, cause we're in, we're in Chicago, so if it gets a little bit chilly in here before, I used to just put one of the burners on in the kitchen just to get the chill out the air, two burners on to get the chill out the air. Well, I can't do that anymore because if I do do that, the fan on the microwave automatically kicks in and it just takes the heat right out the house. This was a pretty nice little find that my wife found this. It just tied in with the cabinets. I don't know if I told you the counters. The counters itself were uh, 1500 I think. Let me see if I can shut these off so you can see them. You can have those LED lights any color you want. They, they switch to any color you want. You can have them dancing around. I just shut them off so you can see the actual counters themselves. The counters itself, see how this is right here? Uh, they come straight. The counters you pick up are all straight. And then you have to Put the 90s, the 90s are actually in there. The 90s are in there, but there's biscuits right here that you gotta glue in. And they didn't, the counters were from a different store than the cabinets. So there was a piece that kind of had to be cut out right here in order for this to fit, but that was from underneath. So this could screw in right here. Uh, so the counters, I think we paid 1500 for the counters, 1200 for the counters. But these right here, the this OG, would have been nice all the way around. Well, it is on this one, but this right here, the OG is only on this side and this side, and these sides are flat. Just because the size, the width that we wanted on the island were uh, uh, was wider than what the standard that they do the OG all the way around. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I could tell you. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, with the refrigerator, one thing that I didn't like with the refrigerator, because we had the double side-by-side, -side, is the Catch-22. We had this tall standing side-by-side -side refrigerator and we switched it out for this because the side-by-sides just looked like you couldn't fit too much stuff in the little one side of the refrigerator. So we bought this. So the only thing I really don't like about this one is now I got to kind of look down and to look into the refrigerator, I got to look down. But the funny thing is, is because it's not a side-by-side, -side, it's a full width of it. Somebody else was having a party and that, that day, they had the cake and they said, oh, we don't got nowhere to put the cake. So I had to drive the cake all the way home to put it in our refrigerator because that's where it fit. 
Uh, let's see what we got here. This is the garbage right here, and there's another little cabinet right here, another little shelf underneath. Uh, the chairs did not come with anything. We had to buy the chairs ourselves, and we had to put the chairs together ourselves, and then the uh, seats for the chairs didn't come. They were extra on top of everything else also. So I think that's pretty much all with our kitchen. It wound up being about eleven or twelve thousand dollars. It was between eleven and twelve thousand dollars is what the total cost of the kitchen came out to be, and it was two weeks, but it was down from bare bones. There was like nothing in here. It was the original hardwood floor from one hundred and ten years ago, and uh, this is what it turned out to be. So we're we're really 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 happy with it. And the next thing to do is the door step by step, right? This door is 34, it's not a 32, or it's not 36, so from where we're finding out, it gotta be a custom made door. Either way, I wanted to show you some stuff. If you're gonna buy these cabinets to put together yourself, it is a big deal. One of my friends that was helping me told me it is controlled chaos. Without him, he knows who he is. There's no way, no way I would have ever, ever, ever been able to have a kitchen like this. So either way, uh, hopefully, I always say dream, desire, and achieve. Uh, my wife put up with me for 29 years, so I guess she deserved a new kitchen, and that's what it was. One other thing, when you measure these kitchens out, man, you gotta be, if you're not really good with measurements, dude, you gotta really have a, a, take your time with it. This cabinet was actually cut wrong, but you can't tell. Looks amazing, you can't tell. The only difference is, is this was our only really big cabinet, width wise right here to fit everything in and a lot of the cabinets were the smaller cabinets like these right here this is the corner one right here okay uh oh knock my wife's thing down there but this one right here actually was two cabinets and they're spliced into one big cabinet see how big that cabinet is it's actually two cabinets that were spliced in to make one big cabinet so it, it kind of worked out really good that we got a bigger cabinet. Let me put that up for my wife. It worked out because we got another really big cabinet. So that worked out really well. I'll take some pictures with some different colors on the lights. But either way, that's the kitchen. That's what you got to look out for. If, if, you, if, if you're going to do it yourself, you got to figure your cabinets are just bare bones pieces of square. They don't come with the doors, they don't come with the handles, they don't come with the hinges, they don't come with the end pieces, they don't come with the crown mold at the top, they don't come with the crown at the bottom, they don't come with the... They're bare bones, so really, really, really look into it and talk to the contractor or whatever if you're going to go ahead and have your kitchen redone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.